what's going on everyone hope you have a great day so here i am back on another video i am surjit and welcome to my channel so in this year i am going to test on another crypto coin and this is not a new gpu mineable coin but this is for me a totally a different and a new project and the new gpu mineable coin for me because in this before you can see a lots of video is available on the satox coin mining but for me i am not using so that's why i am going to try on this video so this is about the satox coin that you can see in the thumbnail that the satox coin mining or the new gpu mineable coin so this is going right now a profitable coin and one more thing is the update that i updated you in before that right now is the time for the kappa algorithm and also the fear of power algorithm and kiro coin is still going to a profitable coin and right now is going to a top and this the revenue it's going down as a coin that i can get is right now as a 0.329 kiro on my both 3060 card but in this before i get the maximum coin and the revenue on kiro coin mining and the second update is that chinit is again it's going to be a profitable coin and you can see that my both 3060 card is getting around 46.52 mega hash and the power consumption is 264 watt and the revenue is 0.92 before electricity and after the electricity you get the profit is about 0.30 on both cards not the single card so if i set as a one card so this is the update that is seen it is right now after the electricity you can get the 0.15 cents so dynex is also going up profitable still but this is totally a reduce the profitability and also some others difficulty it's going on so that's why it's going down but right now you can choose as a fido power algorithm and also the kappa algorithm because right now this is the time for the kappa algorithm now let's back to the main topic is the satox coin that you can see this is the main website and the exchanges that support satox coin is right now trade out in doex takes bit dex trade cons bit is it bit and zegex and also the p2b and it's also listed on the coin market cap binance crypto.com coin codex coin paprika coinbase lifecoin watch blogspot.io coin peer and coin ranking so this is the totally uh most of many of sites that available and the listed this satox coin and this is a proof of work based coin you can say and also it's available for the gaming purpose so you can join on the discord so this is the main wallet for the satox coin if you want to try for gpu mining and you can use the satox main or the one wave wallet or the core wallet and also the mobile wallet the paper wallets there is a four different wallets is available this is the one wallet for the satox that you can use for gpu mining but right now today i am going to try and test my both 3060 card on satox coin so that's why i choose two exchange wallet that the first one is the zegex and here is you can see that this is my wallet address for my zegex and the second one is the textbit that this is my wallet address for the textbit so i am going to try on this both wallet address as a test so that's why i choose the first one is the zegex second one is the textbit and if you want to try the code or the qt wallet you can just download it from there and set up your wallet as like dynex or dynex for the web wallet and for the nexa and radian the same settings is like as a core wallet or the qt wallet so just because i'm not using the qt wallet so i just skip this section and right now on the mining section you can see that the for the nvidia cards satox coin is recommended for the t-rex miner and for the amd cards they recommend it's about the team red miners and for the multiple cards you can choose the high voice so we are definitely use the high voice right now but for me 
I'm not using today on TDX Miner because TDX Miner is best for the Kappa and the Fedopa algorithm. But today I am going to use the BZ Miner. So this is the main GitHub site for the Satox Coin Core Wallet that 2.1.0, the latest version is available on there. And this is the main Twitter account for the Satox Coin and the follower is right now 1757. This is the Discord server that you can join. It's 2356 member is available and for the mining purpose that I am using not the T-Rex miner. I am using the BZ miner for today on my nvidia card so this is my high voice account that you can see and you know that i have two 3060 card and the number one is the v1 card and number two is the v2 card and i set a different overclock setting in this year again i'm not using the satox coin overclock setting that hash it dot you know is recommended by the way this is on also in the non kic on the side this is also available that you can sell it off your satox and this is the main non kic exchange site that you can register and sell it out your satox coin and on coin market cap here you can see that the total three exchange is available on there that the textbit trade org and the end ox but on satox main sites there is something like eight exchange wallets is available on there so you can sell it off any of this exchange so let's back to the wallet section in my high voice that here we can see that i'm using the satox as a textbook wallet and also the zegex wallet just all you need to do just add your wallet type Sato. Satox is not available. There is only Sato is available. So just click on the Sato and copy your wallet address. I'm using the Zegex for the testing purpose. So that's why I choose the Zegex wallet. Paste on in here. Set the name Satox. So I'm using Zegex. So that's why just for the reference and to understand that which one I'm using. So that's why. I choose the Zegex name and create your wallet. So there is the same and also for the text bit that the same settings in here that you can see this is for the text bit the same and also this is for the Zegex and now let's back to the flight sheet. I'm not using any auto fan speed option in here. So in this before I am using the auto fan speed option because of my LHR V2 card because they are crashing in this year so that's why I am using the auto fan speed option but right now this is going to be a fixed and now both card I am going to use the direct overclock setting and on the overclock setting I am using in here so let's back to the flight sheet so in this year here you can see that I already create and also tried on satox and this is run on bz miners i'm also try on the g miner but there is a issue for the g miner is just like the srb miner is like the cooldown a little bit and also the malware registration error and something other issue i get on this miner so that's why i'm using the bz miner not the trs miner because trs miner is going to be a good but today for the something uh different so I'm going to try so that's why I'm using the BZ miner. So on this here, you can see that I selected on the Sato, the Sato Zegex, and on this here there is no miner is available on the direct. So that's why I choose the configure in miner. And on this here, I selected on the BZ miner and set the name in here. And on setup config file, you can see that I am using the Kappa algorithm. So on the default settings, you get the Cloud algorithm, but you can choose or you set hash algorithm is like the Kappa algorithm. And on the world worker name, if you are using the G minor, so you can set as a world dot worker name in here, but others you just set as a wall in here as a wallet template and on worker name is select as worker name in here on password you can select as a blank but i set as a x and for the pool section i choose the echo pool server in here and let's back to the in here on mining pool stats 
that here we can see that there is a lot of server address is available on there and the number one is going to a crimson fusion.org but i'm not using crimson fusion.org because i'm not using in this before so that's why i choose the equable server in here so i just click on that and uh, there is two a couple server is available this is for the solo mining and the other one is available as a main a couple site so just click on that and you can go on this here so in this area you can see that the home section and also you can get some other spools stats and the dashboards and blocks all this is available on there just click on the connect button and you can see in this here this is for the us server this is for the europe server and this is for the asia server so i'm from asia so that's why i'm choosing this one so i just copy it from there and you can see that the minimum payment is the one satox and right now you can get is the maximum is i think 1458 satox for the high overclock settings and here you can see that the revenue is right now 0.37 uh, just I refresh it in here and right now is going to a minus 0 0.01 but you don't need to any worry about that this is going to a high right now because this is the time for the couple so that's why I choose the satax coin in here so you can get right now is the 1294 but you can get the maximum is the 1458 that you can see in this before and the wattage is the high overclock setting is getting around 140 watt and the medium overclock setting you can set as 130 watt but i'm not using this overclock setting that the core clock offset is 200 and the memory clock offset is the 2200 and the power limit is 148 i'm using the different overclock setting so just copy it from there and the asia server because i'm from the asia and paste on in here so you can see that i pasted on here in this before so i'm not doing anything in this year right now so just cancel and you just need to apply on there and for me i just cancel and create your flag sheet or update your flag sheet in here so just for the reference i'm telling you again that the set the sato for the satox coin and set the wallet address and pool configure in miner and miner i am using the bz miner but you can go on as a t-rex miner for the recommendation of hashrate.no and also the satox coin and on setup config file choose on kappa algorithm you can get on there as a clore algorithm but you need to choose kappa algorithm on wallet template choose on wall worker name as a worker name password section you can choose as a blank or you can set as a x or you can set anything in here and on pool just copy your server address in here for the echo pool i'm using the sg pool.com and paste it, it from there apply on changes and create your flag sheet or update your flag sheet in here so this is the overall done now let's back to the overclock setting so for my overclock setting for v2 card i set the overclock setting as a 1470 for the locked core clocks the memory clocks i set around uh, 250 and for the power limit i set the same as hasdrate.in is recommended and for the fan speed i set it's around 80 this is i am using because on this hashtag dot you know that which they recommended that the 200 is the co offset and that 2000 is for the memory locks on this overclock setting my gpu is going to be a crash i don't know how, how but this is going to be a crash so apply on changes for my v2 card and for my v1 card i set my overclock setting it's about 1550 for the lock core clock Memory clocks is about 2150 and power limit I set around 148 and fan speed is also the same it's about 80 apply on changes so all is done so now go to the live update so this is the live update that here you can see that my both 360 card is now mining satox coin this was one on bz miner and using the couple algorithm and also using the ecopool server so my v1 card is 
giving me around 23.41 megahertz and my v2 cards is giving me around 23.46 megahertz so total i get around 46.88 megahertz and the efficiency is something like 159.65 to 40 kilohertz per watt so this is the overall thing and the live update that my both 3060 card is giving me around 46.88 to 47 mega hash now let's back to the high voice so in this area you can see that my both 3060 card is now mining chatas coin on bz miner and using kappa algorithm and my both card is now running on the echo pool server and both giving me around 23.64 to 23.33 mega hash and in this before i continuously mined kiro coin and right now is mining on the kappa algorithm and is run on satas coin so this is my both 3060 card here you can see that they give the same hash rate and this is the overclock setting for my v1 card and also the v2 card that my v1 card is the core clocks is the 1550 and the v2 card is 1470 memory clocks is 2150 for the v1 card and v2 card is 2050 and power limit is 148 for the v1 and the v2 card is 140 and i don't say it in your auto fan speed option in here i just said the overclock setting direct on here that here you can see so if you want to try to set this overclock setting that the high overclock setting is about 200 for the core offset and the memory clocks is 2200 you can set it on there you can get the same hash rate but that is i'm not using just because for my card is going to be a crash on this overclock setting so that's why i tried the different overclock setting but you can choose this overclock that the hash rate dot you know is recommended on here and the price is right now is on one day chart is up is 17.81 percent and i continuously mine right now on kiro coin and i choose to mine also the satox coin to hold some satox coin on my wallet so that is also the profitability you can get because right now is the time for the capo and the fido power algorithm and and there is also available some other coin is right now for the game pass and the new rye dynex cloud Gemling is going to be popular and going to be profitable right now so you can try on that and also you can download and use the core wallet for the satox coin that the latest version is available on there that the 2.1.0 is right now available so you can also choose the core wallet i'm not using right now because for the testing purpose but if you are going to try as a main wallet so you can hold your coin on core wallet and also some web wallet or the mobile wallet and some others wallet so this is the overall things for the satos coin mining that you can mine and get the maximum rewards is about 1458 something you can achieve on 3060 card and on others card you can get the maximum and for the wallet you can choose this four wallet section that i said in this report and this is the main exchange that supports to sell satox coin and also the listed all the sites so if you are going to try to mine satox coin you can definitely read carefully all the documents the white paper the roadmaps all the things so this is the overall update for the satox coin mining and if this video is helpful for you please like and subscribe to my channel to get more updates is about that on the new gpu mineable coin and also that which coin is right now profitable for the gpu mining and if you are the old one thanks to you that you continue to support me and my channel so thanks to you guys and for the new one please continue to support if this video is informative and helpful for you so that's it in this video so have a great day see you in the next one